gonna record some ambience and put it in this track. <laughs> Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for clicking on the video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Fringer EF FX3 Pro. This is an adapter that lets you use your uh, Canon glass on your Fujifilm cameras. Today's video is brought to you by Fringer but I want you to know that they're not paying me for any particular opinion. They did send us their new uh, adapter in the mail, so I just went and picked that up from the FedEx office. What we're gonna do is a little unboxing, kind of show you what comes in the box, and then we're gonna take it out into the streets of Las Vegas with the Fujifilm X-HS2 and get some shots, and I'll also probably take it into NAB um, get some shots in there early in the morning and then we'll come back and we'll talk about what I think about this thing So let's go. All right guys Let's just take a second and look at the contents of what comes in the package. Here is the box itself It's actually in a pretty decent looking um, Box with a nice Fringer smart adapter on the front there So as we open it up, um, I did open it prior to this, but I didn't take anything apart. So you get a USB um, mini to USB regular uh, for updates and whatnot. Uh, you get a little quick start guide, of course. Gotta have that. Then the actual adapter comes with foam all around it, so it's not gonna get damaged. And let's look at this thing. Look at there. That looks solid. Let's see if I can get focus on it. I gotta say, guys, uh, this thing is built really, really solid. Like, it feels good. And I like that the caps are really customized. Um, it's, it's a nice touch. So taking that cap off, you can see we have the electronics in there and the USB plug-in for the updates. Then on the back, very, very well built, guys. And as a really cool addition, there is an aperture ring that is built into this. And comparing it to the Fujifilm lens that I have, the 16 to 55 2.8, it feels pretty much identical. It's very comparable to that lens. So that's nice. All right guys, so now we're gonna go throw the 18 to 35 1.8 Canon uh, lens, or a Sigma lens rather, onto our Fujifilm camera and go get some shots.
Hey guys, so I just got back to Mississippi from Las Vegas, NAB 2024. I will have a video coming out, uh, basically a review of my experience there. But let's talk about this Fringer EF to FX3 Pro adapter and how it worked whenever I was in Las Vegas. First thing I want to talk about is usability in the field. Now I paired this with my Sigma 18 to 35 1.8 millimeter lens. And to be honest, whenever it was on that lens, it actually didn't even feel like there was an adapter on it. It felt like part of the lens. So I'm going to give that an A plus. The only part of this adapter that kind of felt a little cheaper was the aperture ring that is attached to it, which allows you of course to change your aperture. It does have a less, um, quality feel to it because it's sort of a hard plastic rather than the metal that the casings made out of but that being said it really didn't bother me and for a little while while shooting in Las Vegas I kind of forgot the adapter was on the lens that brings me to build quality um, like I said the the build quality is kind of an all-metal build uh, other than that ring which is plastic and when you're using it that plastic can kind of move around very easily whether it be up and down off of the adapter or when changing aperture so that's something that I would like to have been a little more firm because once or twice I did find myself bumping that aperture ring and changing the aperture by a decimal or so and I did see it so it wasn't a huge issue but I could see myself using it and possibly changing it without realizing it which would change my aperture um, so yeah, I would have loved that to be a little more stiff and harder to change because it, as it sits now, you can kind of just hit it with your pinky and it will change very easily. While I was at NAB walking around, I was actually working for Fujifilm. Um, so I had a bunch of the guys there who worked for Fujifilm for 20 plus years. Uh, very interested in the fact that I was using the Sigma on the camera and one of the guys that I was working with uh, like I said has been there for 20 plus years and he has used Fringer before and he took a look at it and shot with it and um, his experience and take on it was that it was very well built and he said the same thing as me he said that he thought it was part of the lens at first um, but in fact it was an adapter and he was very impressed with the build quality and usability of it so that's pretty cool coming from a guy who is a professional wildlife photographer and somebody who has been working for Fuji for 20 plus years. I didn't use the autofocus a ton on this because I was using shooting video and I'm more of a manual focus kind of guy as it is, but I did flip it over for a few seconds when I was uh, shooting inside of the trade show floor. And to be honest, I didn't feel a difference from the autofocus that's built into the camera as the autofocus that is going through the adapter. So, you know, I'm gonna give that a B plus because the autofocus is already kind of a B plus. So we're gonna stick with that rating. Overall guys, I'm super pleased and we want to thank Fringer for sending us this product and sponsoring this video um, because without them we would not be able to adapt our EF glass over to this camera and I've got a video coming up where I'm going to be building this camera up as a cinema camera so do not miss out on that. Make sure you like and subscribe to the videos. If you're interested in picking this uh, adapter up, you can get it at their website. I will have a uh, link in the description it's around $350 which for me to not have to switch all over to Fuji lenses uh, for this camera and still be able to use my Canon glass it's a great price the build quality is really good the autofocus works really well and yeah I think it's I think it's a product worth checking out all right guys that does it for my review of the Fringer EF 2 FX 3 Pro adapter. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for my um, Fujifilm X-H2S cinema build that I'm about to start on. And then also I'm going to put out a video of NAB 2024, just kind of my overall review. If you have not liked and subscribed to the channel, please do so. And if you have, we want to thank you so much. And thank you to Fringer for sponsoring this video. Again, if you're interested in getting this adapter, go down in the description. You will find a link there. And, you know, I don't think you'll be sorry, especially if you have a lot of EF glass like myself. All right, guys, that does it. I'll see you later.